There's not a lot of razzmatazz to the intros in uh, this tournament, but the snooker more than makes up for it. And these two, both very determined here, I'm sure, to book their place in the final against Sean Murphy, but only one can come through. Neil Robertson's made three centuries despite all the tip trouble. Let's see how he gets on in the first frame of the evening session. Well, they both looked very determined there. So we're shaking hands, no smiles, just pure concentration. As Sullivan was saying after the winner against Karen Wilson, where of course he'd been 5 1 down, that he had felt a slight lack of sharpness that, of course, comes from the fact that this is his first tournament since the World Championship and lost in the first round there so it's a few months just getting that competitiveness back. Robertson's beaten Ding Jun Wee 6-3, Barry Hawkins 6-2 to get to the semi-finals. is a little hesitant to play that long red although that's the one that will keep the game flowing he's afraid of leaving the long red to the right corner on but he's covered it and the red not quite reaching that middle pocket although got very close to it crowd in which is uh, good to see and uh, they've got a ringside seat and what feels like a final of course this is a semi-final but this is a uh, sort of match that you really look forward to particularly over this distance as well first to ten yeah that's the great thing about this tournament isn't it that every match is like or could be the final oh great matches great players Meanwhile, Neil Robertson having to go at that long red there, going into the pack of reds, and he's been really fortunate there not to leave anything on. The safety is easy enough, but he could so easily have left the game on there. And still may have. What a terrific shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And they certainly liked that one, didn't they? Look at the smile on the faces. What a shot. Well, I think we've seen there from both players the approach here. It's going to be attack. No quarter given. Eight. O'Sullivan in with a miraculous red. A man who really should have been on his way home, but Karen Wilson could not land the knockout blow in that quarter final. And he's got something, O'Sullivan, that you can't manufacture, reputation. That aura of in invincibility that's been built up over decades. Yeah, Stephen Hendry had that, Steve Davis had that. It was like worth a couple of frames start, wasn't it? 14. People were just a little bit wary of what was going to come from those type of players, O'Sullivan included. Seemed to spring off the black cushion there, but he's okay. Ice break so far in the match, 62. I suspect that if he's going to win this match, that will have to improve. 22. Yeah, I think he played the cannon there to the red, which would have left him on a red to the left corner, but he always knew he was going to be on this red if he missed it. And now no choice but to go into them and maybe try and screw onto the red above and to the left of the black.
Well, he's on one. Such Could have been easier, bridging over the Reds. One. Played the cannon to the red to haul for the black. Screwing around the two cushions. It was missable that black. 39. Table looks to be playing superbly fast. Oh, just overrun. He played for the red just below the pink. 44. But again, knew he was going to be on this red. 45. Well, I could play the cannon this time if he could miss the pink on the right. Just like that. Now, is the red going to go in? Well, he played to push it towards the corner. And he couldn't have played it any better. You can't legislate for knocking the red in. He missed the pink on the right, as suggested. Opened all the reds up. Very unfortunate. Yeah, because he was really going well, wasn't he? Got the good initial pot to get in, was looking really determined to kill the frame off. Little bits of luck, of course, play their part. He had uh, some good luck in frame three. O'Sullivan, he flew to yellow, missed it initially, and then it went in another pocket, cleared up to win that frame. Good speed there on the cue ball. And that red on the right side cushion could come into play if he plays the pot. Managed to miss it. We may uh, at some point get a chance to look at Robertson's tip, but I'm told that it's the same one as the first session. He hasn't got a new one on, he hasn't repaired it, so it's still, still a little piece of it missing. Sullivan should be happy to leave that red on the side cushion. That was the easiest one to play safe off. Now all the reds are in play. So I've got to be careful because 40 points at this level is nothing. It's very close. It's very close. Great safety. And that's what he played. Going round the three cushions. Tap on the table there from Neil Robertson, appreciating that good safety. He was thinking of the two cushion escape there, but very difficult to play it. If he's going to play it, it's got to be off the two reds to the left of the pink, above and to the left of the pink. Can't afford to play it, the lower one. Well, 
I'm just getting the line first time round. Foul and miss. Ronia Sullivan. Oh, a little closer. Can't afford to catch the red too thick. But that was very close to becoming a good shot, a good escape. Exactly the same. Well, <laughs> some of the O'Sullivan fans applauding him having the white put back. Well, it's stacking up in terms of points now. That's four times he's missed. 56 in it. Still plenty left on the table. He'll be delighted to have given those points away if he can hit a red and get safe. He's got there, but too thick. And left us 11 with a chance. That was the danger. It was against Robertson that O'Sullivan made his 1,000th career century last season. Last frame of the Players' Championship final in Preston. Ooh, that was surprising. Now, what's the damage? That yellow just travelling enough. And that a surprising miss from O'Sullivan. Well, this is where Robertson knows he's got to take advantage. And as Joe said, they're all there, all out in the open. Well, he would have liked to have been straighter on the red. Eight. Gonna have to go down the table now. He could play for the yellow. Well, now he's got the problem that O'Sullivan had. There was no easy red to play for. He's got to be spot on with his position or play a cannon here. And look slow. 14. And that's what caused Ronnie O'Sullivan to miss the last time round. He was playing for the only red that would go from the yellow. He needed a good recovery and he got one. And can he see the pink? The pink's easier.
to pop back in prime position. Just one awkward red near the right side cushion. The yellow a little awkward. 22. And hit it slightly. 29. Yeah, you, we saw him bit on that yellow, looking at where he wanted to leave the cue ball, as you say, with the red, and just seemed to tag his eye off the pot. Thirty. Well, the wrong side of the blue, which isn't going to make the red any easier. So this red is missable. Certified. Good pressure pot from Robertson there. That was missable. And a nice angle on the pink to get to the yellow. Well, he was 4-3 down, and of course, at that stage, with two frames left, in prospect of going 6-3 down and 42. having it all to do tonight. But he actually has a chance to open a two-frame lead. Yeah, again, though, he's not straight enough on the yellow. He would have liked a straight pull back to the green. He's got to work the cue ball now. Oh, and he's miscued. Wow. That, that's the tip again. We were saying about the damaged tip, which he hasn't re repaired. Oh dear. So Sullivan 15 in front. The white clean. He needs yellow, green, and brown. Yeah, that was so unfortunate from Robertson, but he was putting so much into it, trying to create the angle with a deep screw shot. Again, this isn't a gimme. Okay, good positional shot there from O'Sullivan. Well, it's a tale of two yellows in this frame. O'Sullivan missed it initially to give Robertson the chance, and then Robertson playing with a damaged tip, miscued. And it's given O'Sullivan this opening and already two snookers needed. Ronnie Sullivan, nine. It'd be one snooker to tie on the pink. He's still looking at the tip though, and that's gonna be an issue clearly this evening. Already has been in this frame. Yeah, Five. Sullivan could be just a little bit sorry that he didn't play for the blue off the brown. It was such an easy brown to get onto the blue, but didn't really get onto it. It could come back to bite him. Well, he yeah, was trying five. something that was so difficult there. So that should be frame over with and it means uh, this match effectively now best of nine never been more than a frame between them well <laughs> pink's not in <laughs> I think everyone expected him to pop that myself included <laughs> the point is if we knew what was going to happen sport wouldn't be any fun would it that was a good chance to get a snooker Again, it was a very difficult shot. He was playing lots of left-hand side on the on the cue ball to try and check it behind the black.
thing is from Robertson's perspective, you know, obviously he's made the decision to continue with Tip, but the fact that it's gone wrong in the first frame at a vital stage, it's got to be in his mind now. <laughs> Meanwhile, O'Sullivan knocks in a much more difficult pink than the one he missed to the middle. So Ronnie O'Sullivan, to the delight of his fans, has levelled up. What an exciting match here in Shanghai. Now, I think, yeah, he's going to go out and, I think, get this tip seen to. He may be a couple of minutes here, just uh, a couple of repairs may be needed. Anyway, we're level at 5-5. Five five. Welcome back. Neil Robertson, uh, he's coming back into the arena. He just uh, indicated to O'Sullivan he was going to, might be a couple of minutes. Actually, he wasn't too long at all. 5-5. Five five. From 11, Ronnie O'Sullivan spread. Sean Murphy waiting in the final tomorrow. See Robertson in the background just working on that tip. There's enough to think about as it is playing O'Sullivan without having that on your mind, but that's not the best break off shot from O'Sullivan. Oh, that's probably the worst I've ever seen him play. Just reaching the bark line, leaving an easy, easy ish right on. Yeah, that's certainly affected him. Miss Kewin on the yellow. You would expect him to pop that. Yeah, well, you know, his cue's damaged. Simple as that. And O'Sullivan, I mean, Robertson actually apologised for not leaving an easy pot on. And O'Sullivan has stepped in as he did at the start of the last frame, knocked in a terrific red. Tied up for the moment, but if he could get top side of the blue here, split the reds open, he could develop the black. Five. And decided to use the pink, maybe a little too straight on the red. Xiao Ying just placing that pink at the back of the pack there, pink spot held. And it certainly makes the pack more inviting Seven. with the pink there. Oh, that's 12. a little short. He wanted a little bit more pace in the cue ball there. He can get into the pack, but not with as much power as what he would have. And not on anything. 17. Nothing easy, anyway. Good recovery shot. But couldn't put anything on the cue ball to avoid that red on the cushion. So surely this time the safety. Well, maybe not. Oh, well, what can you do about shots like that? Bridging over the red, the blue was tough enough had the red not been there bridging over. It's already the best 23 break you'll ever see. <laughs> 24. He said, as I mentioned earlier, he was, felt he was lacking sharpness against Wilson, but the point is he still won. And now he's starting to look really good. Well, if the pink goes, he's in business. 30. This time, a better angle on the blue to go into them. Oh, 
And this time it's worked out better. He's developed the pink and black and all the reds. 35. Coming down for that red by the black spot. His brain always working. Could have played for any number of reds there, but chose to play for this red. So that if he does pot the black, it, the black spot's free. But he can concentrate on the pink and blue now. He can win the frame easily from the pink and blue. Just tend to hit that one slightly. Didn't really want to be playing the cannon to 55. the pink from this red. Could go wrong. So the red's queuing up to be potted into the left corner, but getting to that side of the table a little bit more difficult. Yeah, a little bit more difficult because he played it with right hand side on the cue ball. So again, he's given Neil Robertson a chance to hit straight back. Did it in the last frame. And Robertson was unfortunate to have got the miscue. But this is what he needed. He needed an easy chance to try and settle himself again. 1. Now he would like the black back on its spot. Pink not in the best position to get to. But he can do it this time round. Again, this is going to take a Deep screw shot this, right down at the bottom of the cue ball. Seven. Ordinarily, you'd fancy him, but he's got this issue with his cue, damage tip, which cost him the last frame. 18. Yeah, this would hurt Ronnie O'Sullivan. Missing that relatively easy blue. 19. Perfectly onto the blue to get to this last red. Inch perfect. And he looked at playing for the pink this time round. Just working out the score, would he need the pink and black? David's normally quicker at that than me. 25.
Well, he's going to need them all, isn't he? And that's why he's considering the pink, getting the pink back on its spot. Yeah, good shot. It makes the black a little bit easier to get to from the pink spot. So to one. And if he gets that far, it's not a gimme, that black. So to three. Well, Sullivan just needed the blue and a red, and it would have been snookers required, but missed the blue. Forty. Doesn't want to be straight. Just about got enough angle to get closer to the pink. And nothing for being straight on the pink here. Either side is good, 45. but straight. And that's just about right to drop him behind the black. Fifty-one. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Oh, now big decision to make. If he plays the pot it from there, he's got to play it dead weight to give the black every chance. Otherwise, it's the safety. Just a little bit too hard in potting the pink. No. What a signal for the Aussie. I bet he wishes now Sullivan had just won the frame when he was in. He had the chance. He didn't quite come right on the black. He's left it hanging invitingly in the jaws, in it goes, and Ronnie O'Sullivan's back in front. Another very dramatic frame, and it's Ronnie O'Sullivan leading in Shanghai, 6-5. Bogus here, the second semi-final of the Shanghai Masters, and Neil Robertson has uh, had to absorb several blows today, another big one there, had a chance to clear up, left the black in the jaws of the pocket, he trails 6-5. been watching since the start today you'll know that he lost two very close frames early on the first on the black O'Sullivan made a really good clearance there and then O'Sullivan had a fluke on a yellow in clearing up to win the third so you put that together with a couple of close frames in this session Robertson you know could be a long way in front he knows that the fact is he's trailing again well a phone went off there just as he was playing that and he didn't get close to the pot Shouldn't happen. Yeah, there's nothing worse, David. Just as you're taking your shot, phone goes off. Too late to stop the queue. I'm going. Now, will he go into them here? I'll try and play for that loose red. Cue ball's just a little high on the blue for comfort. Well, was there any doubt? Now, is he on one? Is he on an easy one to the left corner? I'm not sure. He's on one to the left middle or the yellow pocket. He didn't hold back there, did he? He's a brave player, Neil Robertson. And the way he played that black in the last frame tells you that he's a brave player because it was always going to be right over the pocket if he missed it. But that was the way to play it, to give it every chance of dropping. Just didn't quite get close enough to the pocket. He's also the sort of player, and we know this from having watched him, you know, when something goes wrong, when he has a setback, it seems to make him stronger. He does come out determined to put it right. Big shot this, big shot. Well, he knew he was leaving a red on if he missed it. Or did he try and hide that red to the left corner? If so, then I think he still left a red to the left middle.
So I'm not sure if he can play the cannon to the red directly above the black, but if he could, that would be the ideal ball to play for. Try and leave an angle this time round to play the cannon to that red. Nine. Perfect. Very nearly got the cover, but I think he's okay. Sixteen. Seventeen. Remember, Ronnie O'Sullivan hasn't lost in Shanghai since 2016 won the last two stagings of this tournament, first as a ranking event and then last year as an invitation title. This was the first of five titles he won last season. He did go back to the top of the world rankings, although Judd Trump has now overtaken him again. 32. I think the rivalry with Trump is interesting. Obviously, they can't play each other in this event, but you can have a. You don't Quantum. need to be playing the other guy to have a rivalry with him. He's seen Trump take the headlines and the plaudits and the Quantum. trophies of late, but he can remind everyone that he's very much still a major force in the game if he wins his first tournament of the season. That's a nice shot he's just played there, giving himself Perfect. choice of two reds, one to the corner, one to the middle. By screwing around the two cushions, he gave himself that chance. Perfectly on both reds. Forty nine. Now, I may play a little cannon here to that red to the left of the pink spot. Again, doesn't need to. Fifty in front. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Robertson took that to red on to the yellow pocket. It's a little bit do or die. He was unfortunate, really, wasn't he, Robertson, because he could could have been on something a lot easier after splitting the pack as well as he did. Very, very unfortunate. Tough red. 64. Made tougher by the fact that he knew he was leaving the frame on. 65. If he missed it. This is O'Sullivan's highest break of the match so far. He needs another red after the black. And he'll be too clear for the first time. Yeah, crowd applauding. Still needs this red though. 73. No problem. So a quick kill, and the question now is: He going to sprint to the finish line? He looks very confident. Ronnie O'Sullivan. In the odd error, he knows he could have lost the first two frames of the night, but he didn't lose them. 78. Got one more frame to come before the interval. A big frame for the Australian. 79. And look at that shot again. Choice of two reds to play for. 86. Excellent positional shot. 87. Misses the pink on 87. 
but he punished the Neil Robertson miss that big red he took on and didn't get 87 from O'Sullivan he needs now 7-5 and it's Ronnie O'Sullivan for the first time two frames clear 7-5 three away from a meeting with Sean Murphy in the final well again I said in the last the last time he broke off that I haven't seen him break off so poorly, but this is another one and a chance for Robertson. And missed it by a long way again. He missed it thick the last time he played that same shot. And that's not looking good for Robertson fans. He could have won all three frames, to be fair. He went into the pack in the last frame and didn't finish on an easy red. Could have won the previous two. Now he's seen one. And O'Sullivan has got his eye in. Yeah, your best chance of beating O'Sullivan, of course, is to get him under pressure, but to do that, you need to be in front. Often when he goes in front, he stays there. Well, has he come far enough? Anxious looks there from O'Sullivan. And that's careless if he's What's not on this red. He had such... A large margin to play with there. Could have hit it three foot harder and still been on the red. Well, a little bit of frustration maybe, because look where the cue ball is. I'm pretty sure he tried to hide that red to the left corner. But looking good, so looking good now. And it's very intimidating for your opponent to see him going for shots, reckless shots really. That double wasn't guaranteed by any means. But all of a sudden your opponent's thinking, well, he can't miss. And he isn't doing it at the moment. No, I think over the course of the day, you know, his, his positional play hasn't been as precise as maybe you're used to seeing. But, you know, we, we we still keep the break going by pulling out the great pot. It doesn't really matter. All that matters is just getting to the winning line, ultimately. He is a perfectionist, we know that, but you can improve if you're still here. A fraction, a fraction. Very nearly overhit it. I think this is a lively table, Joe, isn't it? This is uh, table one now. It's very fast and it's springy off the cushions. Forty-six. Well, that seemed a little kick. 47. It sounded heavy as well, didn't it? will just seem to die. Too high. Yeah, he made a difference. 47. Break ends at 47. Yeah, I don't think he got position though. And Sullivan will be delighted. Looking at the possibility of a plant. Yes, great shot. He's such a brave player, Neil Robertson. Didn't just play that plant as a shot to nothing. He played for the blue, and look where he is on the blue. Now, he could decide to go into them here. If he 
can miss the pink or catch it thin on the right. They should split nicely if he plays that shot. Caught it full. Six. Still unfortunate not to be on one. Just not getting the luck when he needs it. No, Robson, six. Finished with a good safety though. No easy path back to Bork without playing a risky shot. Looks like he's playing it. In fact, the red may even go. Well, a half chance for Neil Robertson. Well, maybe not. Maybe the red doesn't go past the black. It does. And this time he knocks it in. It looked a little bit springy off that side cushion, I've got to say. Good recovery, but not the best kiss. Gonna fight Eight. through this bad running he's having. Harder, it was in, but a gift for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yeah, he's not backing away from anything, Robertson, but that was not guaranteed, and he didn't pot it. And he'll be expecting now to be eight five down at the interval. in front. Seven. Eight. Look at the way he played that shot left-handed with right-hand side on the cue ball to get closer to the black. So another check of the scoreboard tells him it's two more balls needed. 15. Could have left himself a little better on this black. But no problem. Yeah, it was a bit unlucky the first time of asking that kick made the, the black that he missed on 47 missable, but he's uh, made the most of this chance. It's been a close match, this. It feels closer than 8 5. In fact, Robertson has had chances certainly to be in front himself but score is what the score is and Ronnie O'Sullivan is going to be two frames away from another final here in 30. Shanghai. 31. Well Neil Robertson came 30. out tonight leading 5-4. But O'Sullivan has won all four frames. The rocks set in in the opening frame. That miscue on the yellow. Neil Robertson with the damaged tip. That was his chance to potentially get away himself. Didn't happen. As another double flies in.
Well, a sort of rueful look on Neil Robertson's face, as I say, 5-4 up coming out tonight, but he's in big trouble at the interval. It's Ronnie O'Sullivan, the defending Shanghai Masters champion, firmly in the driving seat in this semi-final, leading 8-5 and needing two more frames for victory. Our snooker Shanghai Masters about to resume with Ronnie O'Sullivan having made his move. He's won all four frames so far in this evening's session. He leads Neil Robertson 8-5 from 5-4 down, and he therefore needs two more to take on Sean Murphy in the final here tomorrow. Last year in Shanghai, we had 37 centuries. So far this year, we've had 32, so we're on track to have around about the same. A lot of uh, breaks flying in from various sources. Ronnie's had four, Neil Robertson's had five, including, of course, three in this match, <laughs> which is trailing 8-5. Judd Trump had a couple before he departed. Sean Murphy so far has had five. Of course, he could add to that tomorrow. But the highest so far, Barry Hawkins, 142. £6,000 could be coming his way depending on what happens over the next couple of days. But yeah, thir 32 centuries so far. And of course, you know, not many players in this event. That's plenty of centuries. And there could yet be plenty more to come. So the players are just about to return. Robertson clearly is going to have to get going immediately if he is to turn this around. It's been a close match. He's lost some close frames. Of course, that black ball frame in this uh, session it was a big one there was a couple of big ones earlier on as well and it all adds up to the fact that O'Sullivan is sitting pretty as he returns here 8-5 up two more needed Ronnie O'Sullivan 8, Neil Robertson 5. That's the score in the second semi-final of the Shanghai Masters. O'Sullivan looking to complete the hat-trick of victories here. Three in a row in Shanghai. With Sean Murphy awaiting in tomorrow's final. Thank you. Frame 14, Neil Robertson to break. Well, if it's going to happen, it's going to have to start here for the Australian. Well, it starts with a good break off. Getting that cue ball tight to the cushion makes this pot very difficult. Doesn't look as though he can take the red on and miss the black. Well, he might be tempted by the red next to the black into the left middle. Playing the snooker in South here. Not expecting to be left a red from this escape, but he's got the safety advantage. Easy enough to skim off the reds or play the other red. Leave the cue ball in the bulk area. Now, could have played it better. He's allowed O'Sullivan to get his hand on the table and he just might take this red on to the left corner. He'd only believe in the red. He's playing. Those are good odds. Great part. Coming round the two cushions to finish perfectly on the black. Tremendous shot, but from a poor safety, you've got to say, from us, uh, from Neil Robertson. Well, that's got the reds open. Nothing easy, but this red may cut to the right middle. 
don't quite know where the cue ball's going. Nine. Uh -huh. I'll settle for that. Slightly the wrong side of the blue, but again, should be okay. We saw in our interval coverage, looking back to last year, in the last frame against Hawkins in the final. 14. Just how quickly he can kill a frame off once he gets the balls open. Well, I got him with a great red, but shouldn't have been allowed to see it. And that just 13. dropped in the pocket. And surprisingly, playing for one of the ball colours, I thought it was easy enough to play for the blue. But this guarantees him getting back to the Reds. And now choice of Reds to get to the black. 18. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Well, he's got, just got to hope something goes wrong here for O'Sullivan. Be very annoyed with himself that he allowed him to see that red that he knocked in. Thirty-four. Because he's at a stage where he cannot afford to make 35. mistakes like that. Yes, it was elementary, just skimming off the reds. The cue ball should have been tight to the cushion. There's no reason why it shouldn't have been within an, an inch or so. Well, he was hoping for something to go wrong, and that's a very fortuitous 40. kiss to leave himself perfectly on this red. 43. Just nudging the red away from the other one to develop them. Well, he could decide to go into them, but there's no need to. Just a gentle little split, leaving himself on that red to the left middle. Knew exactly what he was doing there. Seven. Yeah, and he knows it instinctively as well. His mind works so quickly. Average shot time, 17 and a half seconds for the match. Two balls away from a 9-5 lead. In a matter of just minutes. This is the guy that made a maximum in just over five minutes. And long may it continue, I say, because we may never see his like again. 72. 73. Chinese people watching O'Sullivan play and I'm sure that one of them will want to aspire Eighteen. to what he's doing. Eighteen. 
yeah. so special a talent. Well, that's the thing. What's interesting, you know, he's been the dominant figure in the game, certainly the last 10 years, seven. last 15 years. He's also been the most popular. Go back to the times of Steve Davis and Stephen Hendry. They were absolutely dominant, but of course, because they were so winning so much, a lot of people that wanted them to seven. lose. But it seems everyone wants Ronnie to win. No, two, four. And this is why, breaks like this, it's going to be a century. In the blink of an eye. He's annoyed he didn't get the red out. <laughs> but that's the perfectionist in him. Neil Robertson just had to sit and watch. Well, the red's in anyway. You just can't miss, Kenny. Tremendous. A hundred and two from Ronnie O'Sullivan, his first century of the match, his fifth century of the tournament. He needs one more frame and he'll be in the final. He leads Neil Robertson, nine five. So Ronnie O'Sullivan requires one more frame and he's in the Shanghai Masters final once again. Being nine five down is bad enough, but how he's gone, gone nine five down, latest frame in O'Sullivan's century. Robertson with it all to do, he's uh, a very determined player, a great player, but this is a tall order, make no mistake. Starts with a good pot. Yeah, he's been missing them thick to this pocket. And thick again. Fortunately, hasn't left anything on. He's frustrated because he can't understand why he's missing those balls to this pocket so thick. Why? 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 He's saying. They normally go in. Well, he didn't play the double, otherwise he would have tried to play onto the black. The black didn't go to the centre, so there was no value. Nearly went in. Oh, he doesn't want this in the pocket, surely not. Got very close. Let's open the frame up a little, playing that thin safety. Well, it's a half chance, that's all you could say, because this is a very difficult pot. Little cut back into that right corner. Good shot. He decided to hold for the black. Thought he was going to play up for the blue there, but... Uh, tough black, tough position. There goes the black, and he's held the cue ball well. He's done well to hold for this red. Eight. Such a thin shot on the black. Nine. Just wriggled in, but maybe a chance now to go into them. Not the best of packs to go into. More stun than screw.
happy. Who's happy? 16. 17. It's a big bounce. Just under hit it. Another tough black. Probably try and play the cannon to the red above and to the right of the black. There's two reds to the right of the pink. If you could play the cannon to them, you should be on the red to the middle. First of all, get the black, which he has done, and he's on the red to the middle, maybe on the one to the corner. Tremendous shot. Twenty-five. Well, still may need to go into that cluster again. So, if you can play the cannon to that red, just to the right of the pink. If you missed it, it'd be on the red over the middle. The reason why I suggested that shot is that it develops that red, so but. Being a left-handed player, he might still be able to get to that red. Thirty-three. Again, could play into the pack, but if he does, miss the pink on the right. I'll catch it thin on the right. That's a one, and that leaves him on the red to the middle. And they're all de developed now. 38. Neil Robertson, the most successful non-British player in snooker history. 16 ranking titles to his name. And he, of course, grew up without the advantage of the infrastructure that the British players had. He had to leave his home and chance his arm. And that tells you something about his character, the fact that he did that. Well, that's a good point, that. Without the infrastructure of what the British players had, because we really did have a good one. With all the leagues, knockouts, city championships, county championships, all stood everybody in good stead. So to do as well as what he has without, without all of that, it just shows you that it can be done and expect a Chinese player to do just that because they've started having the infrastructure as well now. Oh, he's miscued again there, I feel. Because that cue ball didn't come back. You could actually see as he was playing it the little bit of the tip that's missing. He did have the option, Robertson, to put a new tip on, get Paul Collier, the referee, to do it, decided not to. He may wish now that he had done. It definitely cost him the first frame of the night. Well, that's a terrible shot, that, from O'Sullivan, leaving this red on, but it's still a tough shot, this, and lots of pressure on it. Yeah, there was lots of pressure on that. He knew he was sticking frame and match up. But maybe that red going next to the yellow may have saved things. Well, I thought he left a red on to the right corner. Obviously not, so he's got away with that one. Yeah, the other point about, you know, growing up in Australia, of course, ultimately turning professional, he had to come to Britain because that's where all the qualifying was held. So... It was a big risk. Initially, when he came over, he didn't last very long. He went back home. He did think about walking away, but gave it one more go and uh, reached the top of the sport. And that's quite an inspiring story, I think, for anyone who has a dream to follow. All but or nothing again. Yeah, it's just not, not happening, is it? Well, it's happened here because he hasn't... I don't think he's left anything easy on. 
And that's what needs to happen. You know, the last time he played the red to the middle, he got away with it. Oh, this is a tough one. Yeah, that was tough. I'm just having a look to see if he's left one on, but he's left one on to the middle, if not. Well, yes, but he can't rely on not leaving balls on when he's missed. He's got to start knocking them in if he's going to win. I suppose you can afford to take that tough red on along the cushion like he did when you're 9-5 up. Well, different now, well, surely not playing the plant with that red over the pocket. The red must go in, into the pocket. Turn the camera around a little. But that's where you'd need to hit. One. Bit of showboating from Hawkeye, wasn't it, that? <laughs> I, won't, I won't play the straight red. Meanwhile, the <laughs> little extensions rolled to the edge of the auditorium. As I say, though, he, he knows he's got to now cut out all errors if he's Eight. going to turn this around. He's had a bit of fortune Nine. missing and not leaving O'Sullivan in. That's not bound to continue. Good chance now to win this one. Black puts him 60 in front. Well, if he's not hard enough for the red to the corner, he's got one to the middle. Seventeen. He won't give in, that's for sure, Robertson. He's disappointed in his tip, for sure, but he'll keep trying. Twenty-three. Just the black needed to have pulled a frame back. The crowd letting him know that was frame ball. Well, two snookers required. Will O'Sullivan carry on? No, he won't. So Robertson has pulled one back. He still needs. Another four if he's going to turn this around, but at least he's extended the match. O'Sullivan now leads 9-6. He's not happy with that tip, though, is he? Yeah, that was Neil Robertson uh, at the end of the last frame, just uh, looking at that tip, but he won the frame. Despite the earlier miscue, it's 9-6. O'Sullivan still one away from the final. Yeah, and this time he does leave that red on, and he can avoid the black and the red. So... You've got to call these chances nowadays. Decent chances. So you could call that a let off. Because he missed the red thin, that cue ball's travelled further away from the ball cushion than he wanted. Oh, look at that for a shot from O'Sullivan. Terrific red, terrific cannon, and a chance. Just so talented. Had a go at the red. And as I say, missed it thin. Nine. Left the red on, but my word, what a red he potted there as Sullivan. Now, chance maybe to go into the reds, develop them, stay on the red. Oh, played it perfectly. Never avoids the shot on Sullivan. 16. And he's got choice of reds here to take, one to the left, one to the right. But by taking the one to the right corner, that frees the red just above the cue ball into the same pocket. 17. So, thinking all the time, which is the best red to play for. Both reds led to the black. Not 
sorts of reverse side on the cue ball. Left hand side, 24. springs off right. 25. And things happen so quickly. And Solomon's at the table. Thirty-one. Straighter on the blue than he wanted. Well, those two reds to the right of the pink. Well, they mustn't go to that right corner, otherwise he'd play a little screw back to where he is now and play those two reds. So they obviously don't go, so playing the more difficult red to the left corner could be a little bit of a life here for Robertson. 36. Needs a good recovery shot. 37. Right in the middle. No danger of missing that one. 37. And the kids could have been kinder. Not quite on it to the corner, not quite on it to the middle. No, oh, but just struck it in easily. Just fractionally under hit it for the two reds to the middle. But no problem to O'Sullivan. Looks set to go 6-4 down. First frame of the evening was big. It's when Robertson miscued on the yellow. Had a chance to really get O'Sullivan 50. under pressure. 51. Yeah, that miscue on the yellow in the first frame of this evening prove very costly. I think apart from anything else, it just planted a seed of doubt in Robertson's mind as well. If you're not confident 58. in your equipment, then you know it's already hard. You're playing Ronnie O'Sullivan, 59. but that's on your mind as well. It was always going to be a tall order. He's a couple of balls away here from killing it off. He'll need red and a colour. Well, not quite hard enough for the easier reds. But everything going in the middle of the pocket, there's no danger of anything missing. Yeah, that's what's been impressive, really. Even when he's not been in an ideal position, he's kept on potting. And this is the ball that's going to put him in the final. <laughs> Ronnie O'Sullivan then with a chance to win a third successive Shanghai 69. Masters. It's Sean Murphy, the last man standing in his way. 70. And what a final it's going to be. Sean Murphy playing at his best again. It's great 70. to see. And now Sullivan starting to hit the ball well. 78. Don't miss it. <laughs> we won't. Best of 21. 200,000 to the winner. And 100,000 to the runner-up. Big money match. 85. 86. So, is he going to finish with a second century? Neil Robertson, obviously, will look back on this match uh, thinking about the sixth frame where he damaged his tip. And after that, he was always up against it, although, of course, he did make a century after that in the last frame of the session. 91. Chose not to put a new tip on. 92. But the other problem he had was who he was playing. Ronnie O'Sullivan 
first tournament of his 28th season as a professional. Still 99. producing the goods. It's another century. Second of the session. Just underlining how well he's playing. He should have been out. Karen Wilson was 5-1 up. Had chances to beat him. Didn't put him down. The only man who can do that now is Sean Murphy. 109 One of the most remarkable careers of any sports person continuing at the very highest level 127 Nearly three decades on from when he turned pro. Quite incredible. And a trademark show-stopping finish. A second century from Ronnie O'Sullivan. The post-mortem over the tip. Obviously, that did not help Neil Robertson's chances. And O'Sullivan sympathetic. As the players, as I say, conduct their own post-mortem into this semi-final. But the fact remains, it's Ronnie O'Sullivan, the winner, by ten frames to six. And he will play Sean Murphy in the Shanghai Masters final here on Sunday.